That is, we want yeah. both both sympathy and detachment. In the, the word secular movement. is, you know, when I wrestled with this <laughs> and I finally decided to use it, maybe against my better judgment, it, it carries so much freight and it has so many meanings. And one of them is, of course, the meaning, and, and this may be the most in, uh, immediate and, 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 and popular sense of the word, it, it carries the meaning of uh, rejecting, of, disapproving of, denying of, the validity of religious experience and religious claims, as anti-religious as opposed to uh, suspending belief in the matter. And that's not, you know, that's not the secularism that I'm sponsoring. Great. Great. Morgan? Uh, I have two questions. First has to do with the nature of the coursework itself. I don't know much about the directed studies program at Yale or the one being Posed here, but it seems like the devil is in the details. And sure. as you yourself said, you really have to um, balance out the works of the dead white men with um, works from China. I think you pointed out in your example. So how do you basically how do you include which works to study? How do you decide upon that? Yeah. My, my well, well, yeah. Um, the directed studies program is. Um, is a is a Western Civ program exclusively, um, so in a full and robust program in the humanities, which we're actually now at Yale trying to build around directed studies as its core or or, or cornerstone, you would have to include much else, uh, 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 the 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 serious um, and 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 deep study of other civilizations, as, as well as of the social and natural science. I entirely uh, embrace and endorse as a friendly amendment what Jim said in, the, in that regard. I'm, I'm, with, I'm with you 100% 100, 100 on, on that. Um, in the directed studies curriculum itself, thank God, it was fixed years ago, and um, uh, uh, <coughs> ages before uh, the canon wars uh, uh, began, and if you want to propose an addition, you've got to make a compelling argument that something is to be deleted. And the problem is that everything on the list is so delicious that there's nothing you could bear to be without. So it's v v difficult to the point of impossible to make the case f f for a new entry. Um, the, uh, the program itself consists of three separate courses, each of which runs for the whole year. There are 120 students in the program. Uh, the books in each of the three um, classes are fixed for the entire group. So you're reading, the whole group is reading them at the same time in sequence. One is a class in literature which runs from Homer to T.S. Eliot. Uh, the second, a, a class in philosophy which goes from uh, Plato and Aristotle to uh, Nietzsche and Wittgenstein. Uh, at the end of the spring term, and the third is called History and Politics, and it begins with Thucydides and Herodotus and ends with Hannah Arendt. Um, uh, the students in each of the three courses <coughs> meet in section twice a week. Their section leaders are members of the faculty. Uh, many of, of them are senior members of the, of the faculty, and then they hear a lecture once a week, the entire 120 hear a lecture once a week in each of the three subjects, and that's it. And then everyone in directed studies typically takes one, and a few take two courses outside the program. Most, for most of them, it's a science course or a language course, and some take both. And that's the, that's the deal. But really, this is just the start, and uh, you know, we ought to layer on top of that a year there ought to be an American directed studies semester or year, a Chinese uh, and, and, and Islamic directed studies uh, program. And these things are going to be, you know, I mean, the, because they don't exist uh, and have to be built, you're going to run into all of the predictable and familiar difficulties and disagreements and quarrels about what's good and what's less good, what's central and what's uh, peripheral. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's worth the effort, and I think you can actually, that all of these programs can be done. They can all be built. I just add one thing to that, Morgan. I don't know if you've seen the curriculum materials I have on the website. Uh, 
Uh, I try to develop there a methodology for arguing that there actually is a kind of objective way to pick out these important books. Uh, if you go on Google under Encyclopedia Britannica, and then you search under Aristotle's name in Encyclopedia Britannica, you'll see that his name is registered more than any other name in the encyclopedia. And in other words, that's an objective measure for his importance. Right? Why is he mentioned so much in Encyclopedia Britannica? Because he's had such immense influence on so many branches of knowledge. And, and so on down the list, I mean, he's at the top, but if you take the top 50 names in Encyclopedia Britannica, you get the most important authors in the world, objectively measured. So it's, it's not just a matter of, of uh, subjective preference or taste or arbitrary thing. There are ways to actually establish who the important authors are. And you want, you know, at the end of the day, you want to be in, a, in the position to make an educated judgment about whether the novel that was written yesterday is the equal of war and peace. It may very well be. But, but there is no way of making that judgment in an intelligent fashion without having done your homework. And that means preparing yourself to make it by studying the foundational works, which for better or worse, I think vastly more often for better, but not always, are the metric against which the goodness and badness, the success or, or lack of success of other more contemporary works have to be measured. Thanks so much, Tony. And we'll have to break up now, but just remind him he'll be signing copies of his book in the hall right after this meeting. Thanks so much, Tony. Thank you all.